you can make a computer out of anything. No, seriously. I got the idea for this video when I watched Steve Mould make a computer out of water gates and pipes using siphon effects for the different logic. Phenomenal video by the way, check it out if you haven't, I'll have it linked up here. But that got me thinking, what else can you make a computer out of? I know there are countless examples of ridiculously complicated redstone computers in Minecraft, which I've tried making and trust me it's a lot harder than it looks, and it looks hard. So what are the actual requirements to make a computer? Well, a computer is a device that takes in an input and gives an output after running it through a series of logic. Okay, but what do you need to actually make a computer? You could think of the input as potential energy, which is just energy that has unrealized potential. It will naturally turn into kinetic energy, if given the chance, which passes through your logic and when it's used up, gives you an output. So computers necessarily require energy to run. I'll highlight this better using Steve's water video as an example. Silicon computers work in a similar way. However, instead of gravity, they use the electromagnetic force to power their logic. Okay, let's make a list of our ingredients, or as I like to call it, things needed for a computer. 1. We need potential energy, arranged in such a way that resembles binary information, although it doesn't necessarily have to be binary. 2. Logic gates for the energy to travel through and arrange itself in different ways. And 3. A final destination where we can read and store our output. As you can see, building a computer is very simple and we can make some ridiculous designs out of it. All you really need is a force at play and some logic it can interact with, and voila, you made a computer. Now, when I say you can make a computer out of anything, I mean you can make a computer out of anything. Let's make a computer out of worms. This is Jim. He's our potential energy. If we place an apple over here, Jim will naturally be attracted to the apple and stop at nothing to reach it. If we place a complicated logical puzzle between the two, Jim will naturally arrange himself into doing whatever we want him to, including math. For this to be effective, we'd need a lot of Jims and a lot of apples. No, I mean a lot. No, like, a lot of gems, and they all need to be traveling at near the speed of light. And then, yeah, we can make a decent computer out of worms. Technically, you are a computer. More specifically, your brain. You receive an input in the form of sensory information, and your brain does a bunch of complicated mumbo-jumbo to it, and you give an output, like a cake or something. In this case, your potential energy is food.